Hello everyone, welcome to the VD Experts. This is our new channel or you can say our new community. And uh, we are trying to provide you best VD sources on all over the internet. So you can find us on YouTube, just type the VD Experts in YouTube search tab and subscribe us. So we will provide you our best sources without any extra cost or any charge. So just stay tuned with us. Okay. And today I'm going to show you my first tutorial for BD Expert. I hope you guys like it. Okay. So here I'm going to start. Alright this is the reference image and I'm and I will try to uh, follow this dimension and the style in my scene okay I'm not going to uh, follow the exact proportion of the objects or you can see the same same object I will play something else like the uh, wash basin I will uh, place it some other model okay so you can use as per your uh, preferences okay so um, and I will tell you one more thing I'm going to use 3ds max 2015 and that's 2015 okay first I'm going to set my unit setup I'm going to follow the millimeters and system units setup is millimeter as well. Okay, press OK. The dimension is the set over here. Now, here's my image, and I know that this lady should be around 5 4 feet, 5 feet 4 inches around, or you can say 5 6 5 feet. So I'm taking this idea from her height so that uh, should be around six to seven feet okay and the uh, top of the counter should be around two feet six inch or you can say three feet but it's around two feet six inch or below then maybe two feet because the six inch height is the that wash basins okay so I'm just going to create a wall sorry like this is the I'm taking the box and creating a wall wall should be around 10 feet high okay this is 10 feet height and 9 inch thick sorry 9, 9 inch thick and here's the dimension oops Somebody is sending the messages. Okay, I will check that later. Okay, please wait for a second. I'm just again okay, sorry about that. I just signed out my Skype. Okay, so this is the my wall it's around 10 feet high and it should be around 3 feet 3 feet and 3 feet so it's 9 or you can see 10 11 12 around 13 feet wide okay so I'm just taking a reference of 13 feet so you can say 15 feet so this is the idea from this place to this place all right and I'm going to create another wall. I'm just pressing the A and B. 
aqui. Alright. So here is my two walls. Okay. Now it should be around five feet deep or you can say six feet. So I'm just taking a roughly idea. Okay, so I'm just taking a copy of that and five feet or six feet. that it's around 15 feet so I'm just going to divide into the three columns so I need two walls in between them okay so I'm going to fold the array and I'm taking for just divide the my wall so that's I'm putting here four okay press the OK and delete your this wall and this wall okay so I got the exact idea But this should be around six feet, so I'm going to change my height. Six feet is very down, seven feet may be okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to create this wall. So I'm just taking a copy of this wall. To like here, copy and going to all right. Sweep down ten feet. I'm going to place my camera. I will choose my sorry. Need the physical camera, and I'm going to put this here like this. And here is my frame area, and I want that HD. So, just let the camera target. Okay, this is the basic idea of the scene. All right, now I'm going to create a slab. So I'm to save this. Scene 
could be around two feet deep the slab and I'm going to do that minus six inches okay why I'm taking minus because I want to increase its height from the lower side okay and this is the height where it's position and I want this on two feet Oof. this two feet and its thickness is too high six inch minus four inch okay sorry all right now I'm going to create the floor by creating a box. Just taking a little bit larger than my area. Okay, okay I think it's five feet is too much. Yes, I think I'm going to convert this into three feet around like this so that will be enough for the public toilet. One, two, and three. I right, guess. Alright. Two, three, and there is, I think, some space beyond that okay so it's looking perfect and the uh, height of my arm is 2 10 feet 10 feet okay Now I'm going to create the wash basin. I need just some slanted on side wash basin, so I don't need to make this perfect like this. So I'm just going to create it, could be around two feet there, so I'm going to one feet. Oh, it's too big. My number two, so eight inches. And convert this to the editable spline, and now I'm going to bring this from my vertices. Right. make a hole over here because my camera is going here so I can't see the wash basin hole all right um, convert this bezier corner why I will show you why
right now I need a lathe. So it's making a whole slab become like this. Alright. So line on the z-axis and make the segments into ET so it can be more perfect. Like this. Alright, it's going over here and second one is here. I need to set my frame first. Okay. 